going on YouTube world? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a quick little mod if all goes to plan. It's clearly not that tree. Don't know what I'm pointing the camera over there for. What I have is RNG, swing arm, sliders, crash protectors, or whatever this is. Swing arm protectors. And these, funnily enough, will go on a jigsaw. So, plan is stick these on there that side and the other side there's clearly no instructions inside the packet that leaves it down to the end user i.e me there's no qr code let me try and open this and i'll show you again i've got no cameraman i have to do it by myself there's a staple there that requires two hands i was in the process of opening the package and i lifted up this part and i found this instructions qr code everything that i said that wasn't there is there which should make my life easier and they've given me i think they've given me some stickers yeah more stickers to put on my bike brilliant people if anyone wants these let me know i'll send them out to you because i've put mine on here and on the front over there and on the other side on the swing arm and on the other side on the front right so these are spare if anyone wants them we've got those that over them so they don't fly away I feel like I write spaz doing this with one hand, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, fitting instructions. Scan the QR code and we'll see what happens. So let me do that, figure it out, and then I'll get back to you. I've scanned the QR code. So what you get in the pack. Not much, cost a million pounds, but whatever. There's one, and there's the other one. Let's put that underneath there so it doesn't go missing. Right, RNG swing arm sliders. I think that one will clearly go in here. Because of the smaller diameter. Should we just try without even looking at the instructions? No. What about the other one? There's nothing even in that one. I think that one goes there, yeah. So, according to the instructions, I'll put a screenshot up now. According to the instructions, one goes on that side. And I'll try this one on this side. Yeah, no. Yeah, that will go in there, like so. As you tighten up the Allen, that in there will expand. Let's find out what size Allen will go on this. After needing two hands, I've got the Allen. It's a size four. And just so you can see, if it auto focuses, the one that's missing is a size four. That fits. This one clearly goes onto this side. So, put that on there, line upside straight to the LCD, you know. And yep, that looks bang on. Then it's just a case of tightening up. And as you tighten, again, I'm going to need two hands because I can't hold this straight and tighten it. But you get the idea. Yeah, it's supposed to fall off like that. Give me a minute, let me tighten it up and I'll show you. Right people, I've tightened it up. Two hands, RNG, nice and straight. And that's the end result for that side, which is, as you're sitting on the bike, the left hand side. Now, because the axle on the other side is a bigger open space, that will naturally go into that side. I'm gonna grab my trusty designer stalls. And get this bad boy stuck on there. Grab the number four. Got my boots on. Look like a right wally. So, put that there. This will go. I need to un. I need to loosen this first. Then put it in there. So once tightened, it will look like so. The right hand side, as you're sitting on the bike, is also on flush with the axle. 
when you put it in it expands that sounds wrong but you know what i mean and we are talking about the bike nothing else now the swing arm is protected from both sides the bike is at an angle so we'll look at it at an angle that way and there we have it people rng swing arm sliders thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one peace